Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another meal prep video. So in this video, I like to hopefully motivate and inspire y'all to meal prep and um, just kind of prepare food ahead of time for yourself and your family. So that way, hopefully it makes the week go by a little bit smoother because when you're a full-time working parent, my husband and myself are both full-time working parents. It can be a struggle trying to come home from work and try to figure out what kind of food you're gonna put on the table. So hopefully this just helps with a little bit of motivation and inspiration to be able to do that. And hopefully it gives you ideas as to maybe different things that you could prepare and simple things. Cause I don't, I don't do the whole difficult recipes and all that stuff like that's not my style i like simple and easy because it makes it quick and easy and that's that is my style quick and easy that's how i like it but in this video i'm also going to be showing you three new recipes that i plan on trying they're new recipes to myself and my family anyway and any new recipes will be in the how did it taste video so definitely stay tuned for that as well but for now let's jump in the kitchen and let's get to meal prepping So I'm just going to start out by washing my fruits and vegetables that I want for the next few days because I do work Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So I'm going to cut up and wash these strawberries because if I don't, then the kids will not eat them. I'm going to wash up and cut up a couple of cucumbers to just have as snacks if the kids want to eat cucumbers as snacks. Zucchini for a recipe. I'm going to cut up this cabbage. This is one that I bought. Um last week and I didn't use it so I really need to take the topic coatings off of this and get this cut up so that way it doesn't go bad and then I'm going to um, just cut up this asparagus so that way it is readily available to just throw in the oven real quick and this looks big like a big thing of asparagus but we can go through that like nobody's business so let's get started cutting and cleaning up all this stuff That is cray cray. Look how big those cucumbers are. I'm gonna have to soak half of them and then soak the other half. All right, so half of the cabbage I am going to use for a recipe, a breakfast recipe, and then this other half of the cabbage, I'm going to put it in a baggie and put it in the fridge because it's going to be um, just prepared cabbage for during the week that I'm going to make like cabbage and sausage, just a simple dish to make during the week. So over here I'm just making keto sausage breakfast casserole. So I have the sausage cooking up. It's almost thoroughly cooked. And I'm going to throw in these onions, cabbage, and some zucchini. I'm just going to dump it right there in with the sausage. And I'm going to let all that cook down. All right, so while the sausage and the vegetables cook together, I am going to make our egg mixture that we're going to pour over the top of it. So we're going to put in three eggs. We're going to throw in a half a cup of mayonnaise. A couple teaspoons of mustard. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of cayenne pepper. All 
All right, so the vegetables and the sausage are cooked. I put it in just a small casserole dish, and now I'm just going to take our mixture that we already mixed up. I did end up adding a little bit of heavy whipping cream to mine, but that's your own discretion. I'm just gonna pour this over the top of this, though. Then I'm just gonna take the rest of my cheese and I'm just going to lightly put it over the top of this casserole. All right, so I already preheated my oven to 375 degrees. I'm gonna throw this in there and let it cook for around 30 minutes or until it's golden brown. All right, so the breakfast casserole's done. It looks delicious. I already portioned them out. This is actually two portions right here though, um, but I already put them in containers. And let me just tell you, this looks and smells so stinking good. Can't wait to try this. And this will be in my How Did It Taste video. All right, so this next recipe is called Tuna Milk Muffin. And first thing we're gonna throw in there is just one five ounce can of tuna. Then we're gonna throw in one fourth cup of mayo. I'm going to do one cup of cheddar and about a half a cup of mozzarella. I'm just going to throw in there some salt, pepper, and just a little bit of parsley. Now I'm just gonna mix all this up together. All right, now I'm just gonna take my very old muffin tin that I already sprayed. I sprayed six of the muffin cups there. And we are just going to distribute this as evenly as we can into six of these guys. Now I'm just gonna bake these at 350 degrees for around 25 minutes. All right, so the tuna muffins are done and they smell so good. So this will be in my how did it taste video as well. All right, so over here I just have some ground beef cooking up. I'm gonna, when it's done, I'm gonna drain off the grease. I'm gonna throw some taco seasoning in there so that way the kids or whoever has taco meat to eat on, taco salads, taco whatever, but this is something I like to make almost every week because it's something that everybody loves to eat around here. Alright, so like I said, I'm going to turn this into more of a taco meat and I'll put in the description box the taco seasoning that I like, um, the recipe that I use, and that will be in the description box below. Alright, so I also threw some pork chops on the grill. This is another staple in our house that we love to have in the fridge for after work or after school or whatever. I like to use this meat mitch rub on there. This is so good. It almost gives it like a kind of like a sweet barbecue type flavoring, but it's really good. My daughter loves this stuff and these are so tender. These are the ones that I get at Costco and look how nice and thick they are. And you would think that they wouldn't cook through very well on the grill, but they do beautifully on here. All right, so the pork chops are done and tell me that does not look bun. Yummy! I'm gonna let these cool and put them in the fridge. Look at those grill lines. 
All right, so the next thing I'm gonna prepare is there is 3.5 pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs in here. And I'm basically just going to marinate this chicken. I'm gonna throw some lemon juice in there. I'm gonna throw some lemon pepper in there. And then I'm just gonna grind some pepper in there. Then I'm just gonna close this up. Good shake, shake, shake. I did add a little bit more lemon juice, but this is just gonna be like lemon pepper chicken. So it's going to be so good. And then I'm gonna let this marinate and set in the fridge for probably a good several hours. And then I'll probably just cook it up in my electric skillet. All right, so this next recipe is called double chocolate chip cookies. Never tried this, so this will be in my how did it taste video. And I'm really interested to see how these turn out because it doesn't take almond flour, coconut flour, or anything. Um, basically, the main ingredient is a third a cup of cocoa powder. So let me go ahead and add a third a cup of cocoa powder. It takes a fourth a teaspoon of salt. It takes three fourths cup of powdered swerve. It calls for a fourth a cup of Lily's chocolate chips. A half a teaspoon of vanilla. And then one and a half egg white. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> So I'm going to give this a stir. All right, so this is way too dry. So I'm going to add a little bit of butter. This is probably maybe two tablespoons of butter, and I'm going to see if this helps out a little bit. because I have a friend at work and if things don't turn out, she just adds butter. She's like, butter makes everything better. And I must say, I pretty much agree with her. Butter does make everything better. That's what it looks like. It really did not make a ton. So I'm gonna make it into pretty small little cookies with my little cookie scooper here. All right, so now I'm just gonna take my cookie pan here. I lined it with some parchment paper. So I'm not gonna worry about spraying it. And I'm just gonna start dipping these cookies right here on this paper. All right, so that's what they look like. It made 14 cookies using that small little scooper. And I'm gonna bake these at 350 degrees for probably, I'm guessing, around 10 to 12 minutes. I did end up adding the extra butter, so I may have to vary the time a little bit. All right, y'all, these cookies are done and they smell delicious. They're nice and chewy, so we'll see how they taste. Again, these will be in my How Did It Taste video. 
All right, y'all, so that concludes this meal prep video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it inspirational and motivational to meal prep for yourself in your family. And again, I hope you guys find the time to do it because it really truly does make a huge difference during the week. Even if you can just wash and cut up your vegetables, something small, just even the tiniest little bits that you can do to prepare for the week help out during the week. Um, again, the breakfast recipe, the breakfast casserole, the tuna muffins, and the cookies will be in my How Did It Taste video, but for now, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you guys, and don't forget to go out there and make today even better than yesterday, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!